Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another Brotato Danger 5 random random run. Hope you're all doing well. Playing a vanilla game today because I felt like it, so we're just going to pick a random character, random weapon, and try to beat Danger 5 with it. Let's see what we get. If you're waiting impatiently for more modded runs, don't worry, we'll go back to those soon, but I just felt like playing vanilla. And we got Artificer. Artificer is a very interesting one, so I did planks for my class guide to the Artificer, but I think we're pretty okay to pick anything else here. I'm hoping to avoid getting Wrench. I think that will be the hardest option available, but let's see what we get. We got Shredder. Okay, so Artificer with Shredder should be fun. We can get some pretty big explosions going, and let's just jump right into it and take our Artificer for a spin. Much like with every other weapon that pierces with the Shredder, you want to try to line up two enemies to make sure we are maximizing the kills from an individual shot, and also to try to group them up. I didn't do an amazing job there, but we still managed 57. I think 55 is kind of the baseline that you should be going for. It's like 54 to 56 that you'll usually get in the first round. Um, in the first wave, so getting to 57 is pretty good. When you have a weapon like Shredder, that's more possible, because it, it can work that way. Um, Artificer, let's, I guess, just take the ranged damage, because that will scale our Shredders, and we want to do that. Let's take a look at the Artificer as well. So, Artificers do explosion damage, explosion size, based on their elemental damage, and... Uh, have minus 100% damage. So the 175% explosion damage and the 100% percent damage are additive with one another. So basically you can you can think of it as us just having 75% bonus damage. We actually start with a damage bonus compared to most classes. So um, it's actually better. Uh, Artificer starts with a high percentage damage and it's better to build flat damage or attack speed and stuff like that with the Artificer rather than focusing on percentage damage stats because you actually start with more and you always want to increase your lowest damage stat. Here I'm going to buy the fertilizer because uh, fertilizer, the earlier you get it online, the better. I'm going to lock the bag, even though it's kind of the same principle, but bag doesn't give you XP or help your harvesting increase, so it's less important to get that early. We'll grab another shredder here and roll. I'm going to lock the landmines as well. We are, want anything that explodes, so the landmines is pretty good as well. Um, actually, I'm not going to lock the landmines. We would buy them later, but I think there are better things for us to, to roll into at this point. I'm going to keep rolling until we can lock a shredder, hopefully. But we're getting pretty unlucky. Okay, we, we got there in the end. And let's keep going. So having only found two weapons is... Or having only been able to buy two weapons is in some ways unlucky. But that's because we bought a fertilizer. Uh, we did end up spending a little more than I'd have liked on... Um, on non-weapons in the early rounds. But getting access to that fertilizer early is good. Let's... Hit the... Oh, wait. Hang on. I think I need to change my settings here. I'll take this and... Can I... Yes. Options. Gameplay. Manual aim on mouse press. Oh. Because I, I just hit uh, reset to default when... I was turning down the difficulty after my last video, so it it turned off character highlighting, projectile highlighting, and so on. Incidentally, though, some people have been asking to see my uh, my options. This is what I use, so this should be good for people who want to see that. Um, I could just take the speed here. I think we can do better. I'm going to reroll this and look for. Um, I was hoping for ranged damage, elemental damage for the explosion size, but I'll also take harvesting. If we can get that to 21, then it can start boosting by 2 per round. Also, notice that if I had bought the bag, we did find a crate, so we would have gotten 15 money back. It still wouldn't have been worth it, I don't think, because we wouldn't have all the shredders that we have, but just worth keeping that in mind. Sharp Bullet does decrease our damage and piercing damage, but the piercing damage doesn't matter as much because the explosions, I believe, don't suffer the piercing reductions. So 
Um, even though we already have quite a lot of pierce on the shredders, I'm still gonna buy a sharp bullet and because piercing is so good on explosive weapons. Definitely need to increase our damage, even with the artificer damage bonus right now, we are suffering a little bit in terms of wave clear. Because the shredder's just a very low damage weapon, right? It's got lots of AoE, but it you pay for that in terms of the amount of actual damage that it does. So our wave clear is a little lower than it could be. Was hoping for range damage, but I'll definitely take attack speed. Very happy with that. And while I do want to build elemental damage on the Artificer for explosion size, it's more important that we get damage. Here, though, I'm just going to take harvesting because we can get to 21 sooner. We'll buy the Shredder, bag, sharp bullet, roll. Um, I'm going to lock this Lemonade. Do I want anything else like the Defective Steroids for 2 HP? I don't think so. I'm going to throw in one more reroll here, because we've only rerolled once. I was looking for another Shredder. Didn't find it, but that's okay. Obviously, the best things that we can get on this character are things that let us switch out of shredders typically because they're just not a very good end game weapon you want to swap to rocket launchers or nuclear launchers and even though this is a random random run i will i think it's fully within the spirit of the shredder artificer to swap to a rocket launcher if we find one Oh, let's see. Okay, so now I can actually manually target that down. It wasn't letting me earlier, which is why I knew it wasn't that my settings were wrong. Uh, we'll take the turret, because even though this won't have a huge impact on our clear speeds, it's only six materials, and having unique level one, like more different level one items can make fairy better, if that's something we want to buy later on, if it shows up. Take the flat ranged damage here. Even though shredders only scale at 50%, we have the 75% bonus damage from the Artificer. So we're effectively playing a character with like 75% damage scaling. Um, so flat damage is, is pretty good. Let's roll this again, and yeah, I'll just keep taking flat damage to make sure that our actual damage is going off. And of course, as we upgrade our, our Shredders, their damage scaling improves as well. Let's take the Lost Duck. So this will decrease our explosion size. We would lose 4% explosion size for the minus elemental damage. I don't think that's a huge problem, and luck is very good. Do I want the Metal Detector? It's... Actually, let's start with the Metal Detector. I do lose some percent damage, but we get almost as much luck as we would from the Lost Duck, and... Uh, the chance of doubling materials. It's still early enough that the metal detector will pay for itself, I think. I'll throw in one more reroll here to see if we can lock anything. We can't lock anything useful, so let's go to the next wave. Non-weapon sources of damage on the Artificer are all bad, stuff like Baby Elephant, because even though our percentage damage is fine when we're using explosive weapons, anything that's not an explosive weapon has minus 110% damage right now, so it is suffering huge damage penalties. Gonna need to get some some healing of some kind. We'll probably want to go with lifesteal since we're a ranged character. Although at this point right now, I'm focused mostly on just improving our clear speeds. I'd also really like something like uh, Baby Gecko, if we can find one of those, just to increase our ability to pick up materials. Here I'll just take more flat damage. We want attack speed as well, but the flat damage is better. Oh, sorry, I may have uh, misled you earlier. The Shredder does not gain damage scaling as, as it levels up. Most weapons do, but I forgot that Shredder specifically does not. Increase our consumable healing that's always nice and sure we lose a little armor so armor modifications are reduced by 50 percent which or yeah which means we only lose half an armor when we take the wheelbarrow um, and we've got half an armor from this helmet you still want to buy armor on this character even though you buy it at half value because negative armor is bad positive armor is good uh, but obviously we're going to buy the wheelbarrow because it gives us quite a lot of harvesting and it's still quite early in the game We'll buy the Shredder here, 
And I'm not going to reroll because we already have something locked. Damage is still our priority, but now we do need to start increasing our HP a little bit. I'd love to start boosting the explosion size as well, so I will take elemental damage when it presents itself, but I'm on this version of the Artificer, I'm not going to worry too much about going out of my way for elemental damage. Especially because we're not building melee damage, so rip and tear, usually one of the best items for Artificer that gives you tons of explosion damage, um, if you have any melee damage is less valuable for this version of the build. Making pretty good money at this level, though. Very happy to take a bat here. We just need to get some lifesteal. It's still early enough I'll take the level 2 harvesting. And do I want 1.5 armor or 2 ranged damage? So this is basically like taking a level 1.5 chest n normally. I think I am going to take the ranged damage here. We, it's, that's also just like taking a level 1 ranged damage on a normal character because we have 50% range scaling. Um, but I think it's still worth it to pick up that damage. Just making sure our clear speeds are fast is really important. Attack speed, definitely. Beanie, yes. Let's reroll here. Uh, keep upgrading these shredders, of course. One range damage for 54. I think that's worth it. We really just need to boost our the flat damage of our weapons here. And energy bracelet I won't take, even though I do want elemental damage. And I don't mind crit chance, because we can't afford to reduce our range damage. We'll definitely lock and buy the blindfold, though. At this point, I'm looking for flat HP. That's one of the most important things. And then... A little bit of lifesteal would be nice. We don't need a ton at this point, but getting up to about 10% would be pretty good. And, of course, just damage and attack speed as usual. You can see, because I've been building heavily into damage, our clear speeds are pretty good here. And that, of course, is why we do that. So we made 300 on this wave, which is pretty good for this wave. I'm going to take the 9 HP here. I want all of these stats, obviously, but we desperately need to get our max HP up, so very important to start putting some points into that. We'll take crit chance and dodge. Now that's in the positives. I'll take the fertilizer as well, because that will pay for itself quite quickly. Um, tentacle is an interesting way to try to heal on this character. We already have 5% crit chance, so we could get up to 11% crits. I think this will end up being not bad, so I'm going to give this a try. If it doesn't end up working out, then that's okay, but I think it's it's kind of, uh, kind of worth going into that. Um, we currently have, so we've got 75% uh, explosion damage, or 175% explosion damage, and minus 1 12% damage. So we effectively have 63% damage right now. It's worth buying stuff like head injury to increase that to 69%, both for the memes and because it's actually... Um, percent damage is quite valuable for us at this point, since our flat damage is pretty good. And I'm going to buy the luck as well. Unfortunately, we do lose the, the sex number, but we get our luck to increase, which is more important in this particular case. A little more attack speed would not go amiss here. Shredder has fairly weak default attack speed, so you want to invest into that as well. Obviously, I'm still hoping to find just a, a higher tier weapon. Let's head down here and break that tree. Make sure I'm picking up some of these materials that we're putting on the ground as well, because we're leaving a lot of materials on the ground right now. An early Sift's Relic or something like that would be really nice for us. Okay, can we get this tree? With manual targeting, we can. And it even gave us a crate, which was worth 15 materials. 
Um, book I'm going to take for the same reason I took turret. We don't use the engineering particularly, but it's a unique item for a fairy, and it's only a little bit of materials we would get. Like, it's wor just worth the six materials to speculate on that, I think. And here I'll just take two elemental damage. That increases our explosion size by 8%, which is pretty good. Take the broken mouth for sure. Increasing our HP to 35, that's very nice. And the lemonade, reroll here. Keep upgrading our shredders, reroll again. And do I want to go with a weird ghost going into wave 9 with only 2% lifesteal? I think I do. I mean, we want the HP, and this is dangerous. This is very risky, obviously, but I think it's worth it. I'll take the tentacle to kind of offset that a little bit with um, a 14% chance to crit. We'll probably gain some HP from the tentacles pretty quickly. And I'll lock the leather vest, because we will want that, go into wave 9. So obviously we're at 1 HP. I can't afford to take a hit here. So I do have to be quite careful, at least until we drop a consumable. And our luck isn't incredible, so we weren't guaranteed consumables. But with the tentacle healing and the even just 2% lifesteal, we're still getting a lot of hits. We should be able to heal out of the danger zone pretty quickly, as indeed we were. Very great to see a random loot alien spawn there, because that we already have a bag, and obviously loot aliens are excellent regardless, but when you have bag, they're even more valuable. Love to see all these explosions. And I, I, I love how when you have this many... Uh, enemies on screen, it starts to bug out the sound, like when you're killing enemies quickly enough. It's just very funny, it's very satisfying, especially to get it this early. We'll take definitely take small magazine damage, and or attack speed and range damage, it, very important to us, and like I said, our percent damage is already high. Do I want 7% crit chance or 2 flat damage? I think we've got 2 tentacles, so I'm going to go with crit chance. We can actually build into some crit chance in this build. Right now, our percent damage is at 61%, so yeah, we do need to start increasing that a little bit, more than we need the attack speed right now, I think. Just because this is level 3 and this is level 2, I would probably make this pick the other way around if they were even levels. Shredder, definitely. Leather Vest, I will take, even though we need the HP and only get one armor from it. Zero armor is pretty painful, so I'd like to increase that. And we can start building dodge. I'm not going to buy Little Frog, even though I do want pickup range, because I actually do want to build dodge on this character, I believe. Take the lure here. Very happy with that, because it's worth money. Snail would reduce our movement speed a bit, but reducing enemy movement speed is quite valuable for us, because we're a relatively slow... Uh, we're relatively slow at killing individual enemies. We kill groups very well, but individual enemies slower. So reducing enemy mo movement speed will give us a little more time to deal with things like the rib cages that chase after you. Energy bracelet we still can't buy. At this point, I don't think it's worth buying another metal detector. It just won't pay off in time. Weird ghost we probably can't afford either. No, I guess going into wave 10... Let's try this. This could be, that could be a mistake, but I'm going to give it a shot. We'll take the poisonous tonic, definitely, because all of this stuff is stuff we want, and we don't care about losing the regeneration. Do I want half an armor from the duct tape? I do want armor, but I think we're going to pass on it for now. All right, so I have to remember we've got weird ghost here. And, but hopefully with some decent crit chance and the tentacles and also decent healing from consumables, we can heal up before we're in danger. And again, we were able to. I think people typically play either too aggressive or too scared with Weird Ghost, um, but usually too scared. Remember that the early part of the wave there won't be any enemies, so you have some time to heal up before you actually are in danger. And Weird Ghost is a very efficient item. 
in terms of its cost to benefit ratio. So unless it's going to cost you HP by forcing you to play more cautiously, which it often won't, you should just buy Weird Ghost pretty aggressively, I think. Because you'll be able to heal up in the early parts of the wave. If you have any, like a garden or anything like that, you'll be able to heal up immediately. If you have decent luck, you can heal off of consumables. You don't have to have good healing to make Weird Ghost good, is what I'm saying here. I'll take the Scar. We don't have any XP gain right now, and even though it's fairly late for Scar, it's still still worth it to pick up for free at this point. I probably wouldn't buy it in the shop. Um, and I'll take a Tardigrade when it's free. Not an item I love usually, but in this case, our armor is, is negative, so the Tardigrade might save us some damage. Here, I'm going to recycle the Gummy Berserker. I really don't want to reduce our armor because we have to struggle to raise it, and I want, like, at least five points, so I'm just going to recycle that. Uh, if only that was ranged damage, I'd be much happier. But I'll take the three armor, because that can help increase our, our damage here. I do want elemental damage, but I'm going to take ranged damage over the elemental damage right now, just making sure that our damage is high is, is more important than the explosion size still. Take the small magazine... Gentle Alien Broken Mouth, for sure. Let's roll again. Here's another explosion effect, and this is a pretty good one for us, so I'm very happy to take Spicy Sauce. We will also take the Lens, and then I actually want both of these items as well. Our dodge we can probably raise pretty high, but I do want to, like I said, work on keeping our armor high. I love that in the last patch they added the purple bar for the, uh, the Tardigrade. Looks like I'm not, I don't think I'll be able to clear the elite here, so I'm not going to focus it. This elite you also, oops, lost my tardigrade there. This elite you want to not focus if you're not going to be able to kill it because its later stages are much more dangerous than its early stage. You can see we can just stay away from it, but in this stage it moves around really fast and summons tentacles which makes it much harder to dodge because it's it's chasing you really quickly and summoning tentacles, which absorb a lot of shots. So um, you want to delay it entering its, its third stage for as long as possible. Try to pick up healing here by killing enemies, but I also want to make sure that I'm actually clearing the... <laughs> picking up the materials. Left a loot alien alive, but that's okay. We made it out of that elite fight without too many t difficulties. I'm going to reroll this. I think we can do better. Just get a level 2 upgrade of some kind. Do I want crit chance? Uh, no, we need speed. Our speed is negative right now, and I can't leave it that way f for too long. Gambling token and metal plate I'll take. Do I want the fuel tank? So I'd lose one range damage, but it's pretty high, and that is a pretty significant increase to our explosion size. I think I will take the fuel tank here. That could be a mistake, but I do want to build some explosion size on the Artificer, because we're playing Artificer, that's what's fun about it. Um, I'll take the wheelbarrow for sure. We've got great harvesting on this character, and I will take Ugly Tooth. We still have positive speed, and this will help against elites and stuff, which is going to be this character's weakness. Of course, with the explosions that the Artificer puts out, you don't worry too much about groups of enemies. You worry about single strong enemies, because we have huge AoE. Still wish we had found a, a baby gecko or something. I also, I feel like that charger should have hit me, but it didn't somehow. I don't know if we dodged and I didn't see the notification, or if I was like a pixel off of it. It really looked like that guy was right on top of me. Funny to be going back to normal speed enemies from the super fast speed we played on the modded run in my last video. Um, my reflexes were off for that video and now are off again for this video because I have gotten used to a whole different type of enemy. We still only have 2% lifesteal, but our healing from the tentacles has been good. I'm going to grab this speed. Just increasing that is, is really nice. Let's also pick up the shredder. 
even though we've got landmines and we have explosion damage, 36 damage landmines are just not that impressive, so I'm just not going to buy them here. Reroll here, though, and yeah, we'll take plastic explosive. Excellent for any explosive character. We can build this with elemental damage on the artificer, but of course it stacks, so we're going to definitely pick that up. ST's couch is always a trap, pretty much. You basically never want it on any character, so we're going to pass on it. Here I will grab all of these items. Which do I want first? Uh, other than the pistol, of course. I guess I'll take the luck, because that's an economy item. And then I'll take the metal. Metal can help with clear speed. We'll lock the leather vest. Having increased my movement speed, this character feels a lot nicer to play, I have to say. Playing at the low move speed we were at was a little rough, just having to dodge things way in advance. And also made it harder to like pick up materials and stuff. One of the things about move speed is that it's secretly also an economy stat, because you can more easily pick up materials, and more easily move from enemy to enemy. It's not just for dodging. Love watching the explosions. As always with the Artificer, I have to say, you know, warning, there is some flashing lights in this video. Uh, and th these are going to get more severe, so if you have a flashing light sensitivity, <laughs> you, you might want to switch to audio only at some point, because the flashing is going to get quite pronounced as we go into the late game. Um, I'm going to grab this baby elephant, and or I'm going to recycle the baby elephant because it will never do damage. I want the attack speed more than I want the range damage, so I'm going to recycle the scope here. And in fact, I'll just take attack speed. I do want elemental damage, I want dodge, I want crit chance, but our attack speed is not amazing, so I'd like to increase that. I could take 10 luck. I think we can do better. I'm going to reroll. And I'll take crit chance, actually, because that right now is a healing stat for us. Leather vest and the level 3 shredder, all, all very good. Alien tongue I could pick up. Right now we're relying pretty heavily on consumables and for our healing, so I think I will take the alien tongue. I don't normally love to pick this item up unless you have a specific use for it, but because we are struggling to pick up materials and are relying on consumables for our healing, I think it can be good for us here. More piercing, sure, and warrior helmet, very good. Um, I'll need to repair my speed a little bit, but it's, it's at 30%, so we're fine. And I will just hold 178 because we've got two, two things locked already. Wave 13, luckily, or 14, normally a huge threat for most characters, should not be a problem for the Artificer, usually, because you just explode all of the goobers as soon as they spawn. AoE damage makes Wave 14 a lot cleaner. And because we've pretty aggressively built damage in this build, at the cost of some defensive stats, we're able to maintain our wave clear very quickly against the goobers. Again, that charger, I think, should have hit me, but didn't. Maybe I'm secretly cheating. It would be very funny if it, if it, like, you know, the scandal that would break if it turned out I've been cheating at Brotato this whole time. Um, I'm going to recycle the Pocket Factory. I like Pocket Factory, of course, but we don't have a Lumberjack shirt, and it's just not going to be a, a significant contributor to our clear speed or anything. Do I want Crit Chance or Life Steal here? I think I'm going to grab the Life Steal. Crit Chance is also very good, but I really want to get to 10% Life Steal, just so we're not as reliant on the Tentacle healing. Take this and this and reroll. Upgrade our shredders again. Definitely don't need the shackles here, but I will take Toxic Sludge. While I do want to increase our dodge, this is a, a pretty big chunk of explosion radius for more or less, for like very little downside. Fertilizer will still pay for itself before the end of the 
game here. So I'm going to grab that and we'll lock the dynamite, lock the gambling token. Fertilizer is such a good item that even quite late, it can still be beneficial to pick it up. Just such an incredible economy item. And this is where the shredders get really exciting because they <laughs> blow up the whole crowd. When you fire into a crowd, right, every enemy you hit with every pierce gets the explosion effect. So all these enemies get hit five or six times because each enemy in a row is triggering an explosion, which hits all of the enemies in the group. That's why we're one-shotting these things, even though they have way more health than we do damage. Uh, cute monkey is another alternate way to heal, but I, d I don't want to decrease my damage. I'll take four range damage, in fact, and increase my damage quite a lot. We've got five armor, which is kind of the minimum I want to sit at, so we'll try to increase this again, but I can actually get my dodge to a reasonable value if I pick up stuff like gambling token. Pumpkin will not be as huge in increase in damage, but it's still worth picking up because we have the... Um, we have like a lot of piercing, so it's going to be good for us anyways. We'll take luck and consumable heal, reroll. Explosion size and explosion damage, both obviously excellent. I'm actually going to grab the Lumberjack shirt here just because it's a unique, so this removes it from our shop pool. And it lets the explosions one-shot trees. We don't really have a problem clearing trees, but it's only 50 to remove an item from our shop pool, so now we can't roll it again because it's unique. Um... And that, that's worth spending some money on just in and of itself. We're also kind of at the point in the in the late game where we can start just buying luxury items because the build is so powerful already. If we were struggling a little more at this point, maybe I, I would have saved the money there. Just a little more crit chance would also mean that we're much more reliably critting these enemies, which will also increase our healing. Not that we've taken any damage, because our clear speed is so excellent. And, and builds like this are why I say that if you're struggling with the plank build that I showed on Artificer in my class guide, you should just try Shredder, build it like a normal gun build, and it'll do very well. Let's recycle the cog. Uh... All level 1s. We have 46 luck. We can definitely do better than that. I'm going to reroll again here. Alright, I'll take 5% crit chance. Just wanted any level 2 item, basically. Upgrade to a level 4 shredder. We still have not found a nuke launcher or a rocket launcher. That's the one thing I'm kind of disappointed by in this build so far. Grab the shredder. Lucky charm. I don't think it's worth locking. I might buy it if we... Didn't have to give up a shot sl shop slot for it, but I, d I don't think it's worth locking at this point. See, our explosion size is pretty big at this point. What I want is for the elite to move into groups of enemies so that I can trigger multiple explosions from the same shop shot on it, um, which will help us DPS it down. So if, it, if it's next to like those rib cages, then we get more damage on it, which is very nice. Um, oh, oh god. Walked into a whole bunch of attacks there. Have to be a little careful. Our, when you have like plus 10% move speed against this boss in particular, it can actually be kind of a problem because these rings move about as fast as a, as a Brotato that's moving at plus 10% move speed. Meaning that you move with them, if you don't stagger your movement, then you move with them and just take the damage from them. Um, so you actually want like either slower or faster move speed against that boss. But because we have 8%, we were at kind of exactly the, the right move speed to make that boss quite difficult. Uh, we gain 
damage and a little bit of attack speed. This is not a great item for us, but I'll still take it. It's It's got just a little bit of what we need. 9% dodge can get us up towards 60% much sooner. Do I want the butterfly? I do want to increase my life steal. We lose some explosion size, but I think getting to 10% or 15% life steal is too important. Do I want to cap at 65 HP for the handcuffs? I think so. We're we're going to have this is uh, plus 32% explosion size and plus 8 range damage. That's hugely powerful. So I'm just going to say, yeah, we only have 65 HP and that's a little low, but this is just such a huge damage boost that I think it's worth it. I'm going to buy the Blood Leech as well, just because we're so desperate for lifesteal. So I think it's, it's worth picking that up, even though it's a pretty bad item overall. We'll lock this Shredder and buy the Hedgehog for another range damage, and then keep going. You can see our, our damage went up quite a lot from that flat damage, and our explosion sizes are significantly more massive now. This is where the uh, the game gets really exciting when you're playing Artificer, just these gigantic booms. Um, if we have, and then that even bigger one from picking up a consumable with the spicy sauce. If we had a nuke launcher or a rocket launcher, we could have even more enormous explosions. So again, a little sad we haven't found one yet. There's still some time, but even if we end up with just shredders for the whole run, that's still totally reasonable. Kind of weak income from Wave 18, though, I have to say. We'll take Lifesteal here. Very, very nice to get that. We'll upgrade our Shredder. We'll buy another Leather Vest to go to increase our dodge. Armor is less important now because our HP is a lot lower, so it's the armor is increasing a lower number. Um, but it's still worth picking up the armor because now we have no way to increase our HP, so we just want dodge and armor as our remaining defensive stat. Take more lifesteal to make sure we're not dying, and I'll lock the beanie as well. I do want some speed. I'd have loved to find a hunting trophy. Some other way to increase our economy would have been really nice. This isn't like the most powerful artificer build you'll ever see, of course, but this is a, a pretty consistent way to just get a Danger 5 win, I think, just Artificer with Shredders. You don't need to find the better weapons, but they do help a lot if you pick one up. Um, and you can just build like a normal gun build and trash everything. Just starting with a, a bonus 75% damage is such a huge boost. It's like a quite massive starting benefit. Sure, more flat range damage, and then our percent damage is um, at 85%, so I actually think we want to increase that over our flat damage at this point, and both over our explosion size. I'll take speed, I'll take the armor here as well, I'm gonna reroll, take the spicy sauce, Reroll, we can't use the HP anyways. And we'll take the Poisonous Tonic. Attack speed and crit chance, very good for us. Mutation is an uh, an item that we haven't found, excuse me, haven't found previously, but that's very good for this build. Unfortunately, we can't quite afford it. So let's go to the next wave. See if we can get our nice win with the Artificer. We want to stack the bosses so that the explosions will hit both of them, if we can. That will be our fastest way to kill them. Because if, if the explosions are hitting both of them, every shot is basically dealing quadruple damage. Because it's exploding uh, twice, and each time it explodes it's hitting two things. So compared to just hitting 
one enemy. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, no! I just walked into a million attacks. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, I pretty rarely lose to the bosses, but I just walked into every single attack there. Um, whoops. <laughs> Alright, well... There we go. I guess you still have to pay attention to what you're doing, even when your build has come online. And it is, this build it does have the problem of not killing um, the bosses that quickly, so you do have to dodge pretty well. I managed to stack these quite badly, but uh, or managed to dodge quite badly and take 10 hits in a row. We also had 40% dodge and got no dodges on any of those hits, which was a little unlucky, but certainly not, you know, I could have just not taken those hits. So um, there you have it, I guess. Don't walk into the boss attacks. And if you've enjoyed this video, um, definitely feel free to leave a comment, like the video, and of course you can subscribe to my channel for more Brotato and other strategy game content. We'll have to try to get our, our win rate back up to 80%. I was playing this one pretty lazy, honestly, because I thought this would be an easy win and uh, paid the price. All right, my friends, cheers, and I'll catch you next time.